Hey guys, so from the first 360 edition of FHN Today TV. 360? I'll explain. Hey, over here. We'll have plenty for you to explore today. Feel free to spin the camera at will if you have a mobile phone, move it around or drag on the device, and if you have a computer, use the mouse to navigate. It's going to be a lot of fun and you'll have plenty of time to explore everything from a new angle. Everyone's experience is different. Yours is unique, so stick around. Today we are featuring 360 videos on Six Flags Fright Fest, the top five places to snack on Main Street, a future on Drum Club, and a look on what happens after the last lunch bell rings. I've been craving some ice cream recently and I don't know why. Yeah, me too. I just really want a place where, you know, I could go eat snacks and hang out. Let's watch this video to see the top five places you can get snacks on Main Street. Serving since 1947, Kilwins is located at 300 South Main and sells chocolates, ice cream, and handmade sweets. While this is a confectionery chain, each location hopes to offer something different than the rest. Grandma's Cookies is located at 401 South Main and specializes in homestyle, seasonal, and everyday cookies. The family-owned bakery has been open since 1971 and hopes to continue to be a family favorite for years to come. Located at 125 North Main, Little O's is an old-timey soda shop specializing in shakes, ice cream, cakes, and old-fashioned sodas and candies. What sets Little O's from the rest is their antique soda found in 1940s atmosphere. Picasso's Coffee is a locally owned independent coffee house located at 101 North Main. It's a small coffee house that features local art as well as live music. Many people share their musical talents here on open mic nights every Thursday from 7 p.m. to midnight. Riverside Sweets is located at 416 South Main and is a family owned candy and ice cream store. They sell a variety of items such as ice cream, candy, fudge, small decor, and seasonal displays and I've been happy to serve South Main for 16 years. Little O sounds awesome. I'll have to get my parents to take me there. Good luck with that. Speaking of food, I had a really good lunch today. The sandwich line was killing it. I know the lunch ladies put in a lot of time and effort into the lunches they serve us. I wonder what they do after we all leave the lunch room. Check out this behind the scenes footage of the hard work they're putting in after hours. After lunches end and all the students file out, the servers are still working hard to clean up the cafeteria. According to server Mary Rasher, they remove any uneaten food, restock the foods, clean their food lines, and review the food choices students did and did not make. Head cook Becky Holtkamp mentions cooling down the food, sweeping and mopping the floors, and cleaning dishes as well as the rest of the kitchen. Tomorrow I have to make sure I thank the lunch ladies for all they do for us. I know, those sandwiches they make are so good. Hey, you went to the play, right? How was it? It was really good. I don't mean to brag, but I'm a pretty good actor myself. Mm-hmm. You're pretty good at acting like you're doing your work in class. Whoa, all right. Well, that's the one thing drama kids don't do. Reproduction is no joke. From rehearsing to designing the set, the group puts forth a lot of effort to bring the play to life. I know. Sounds pretty stressful, but they're doing what they love. The fall play, Wait Until Dark, is just around the corner, and the drama club has been working hard to be prepared. <laughs> Rehearsals for the show consist of the cast and the different crews breaking off to focus on their individual tasks. Oh, I think I made those other two over here now. Yeah, so go grab a ground Among the crews is a set crew who works to build the set as well as paint it. The costume and makeup crew are responsible for quick costume changes, if any. Ooh, what about this? Uh, actually, no, that's more like... Like, it's like that. Yeah. Senior Brian Ochoa plays one of the main characters in the play. My favorite thing into, like, getting ready for the shows is just the anticipation that the audience is going to have. Besides working on the fall play, the drama club also had auditions for the escape room. Drama officers looked for good chemistry between the zombies. Wow, that's a lot of work they put in. Yeah, you're right. Maybe you should try out next time. And play what? A bush? I think you make a great bush. Well, it may not be my calling, but students looking for some acting experience should definitely keep an eye out for the spring play tryouts. So, have you heard about the stories about the hauntings? The hauntings? Where? At Six Flags, they have everything from chainsaw-wielding lunatics to zombies. It's chaos. What? No way. Seriously, I have proof. Take a look. On any given day during its open season, Six Flags is a place of smiles, rides, and fun.
But every year around Halloween, at night, Six Flags turns into a place of screams, terror, and haunting characters. The park is set up to look scary, but the fear doesn't start until the zombies, trolls, and clowns come out. Guests have a chance to walk around areas infested with zombies and clowns. Next time you're free on a weekend close to Halloween, visit Six Flags to fulfill all your scary needs. So nasty. I know Thanksgiving is coming up, but I'm so hyped for Halloween next year. We have like two more holidays. You have plenty to keep you busy. You're right. I'll just miss the spooks. Hopefully the audience stays safe out there. I wouldn't want them to get too scared. Well, that's all we have for today. Tune in next time for our charity FHN Today TV. Stay cozy at the weather pools.